Good morning. My fifth period honors class was posed with the following problem-based learning assignment. How can you persuade Bogle Social Studies Department to adopt Doug Wilhelm's novel, The Revealers, as a bullying book that would either replace Jerry Spinelli's Star Girl or supplement the bullying program as an additional book to be read in January as a refresher on bullying issues? Their assignment was to incorporate persuasive techniques into their product in a creative manner. Their product is a newscast and commercials that reveal key plot elements and true testimonials derived from research on various sources, including TheRevealers.com. This novel, a pretty quick read and worth eight AR points, a point they didn't want to admit, addresses how targets of bullying try to speak out against their perpetrators through a school-based internet called KidNet. I hope that you will consider this particular novel as one worth incorporating into the bullying program as it is clearly one, like Crash, that addresses bullying head-on. Furthermore, it shows how cyberspace can be both used and abused as an intervention for this issue. Thanks for watching. Why? You speaking to me? Yeah, why me? What did I do to you? You know what you did. How would you feel if someone did this to you? You little... Dirty Mouth cleans it up with new Orbit Peppermint for that fresh clean feeling no matter what. Breaking news. Hi, I'm Bill. And I'm Jill. And, and we are your newscast, newscast people, people for today. today. This just in. A young boy named Elliot Kikowitz was dropped off a bridge into a small river by a young boy called the Jock Rocks. Oh, I think I've heard of a situation like this happening before. This situation occurred in the book called The Revealers. I read this book and it made me feel strong. It also made me realize I wasn't the only person who's been bullied before. I'm glad that you're willing to share your story with us. You're welcome. Also, teachers thought it was a great book for kids to get hooked on reading. I know I did. Thanks again, Jill. And now back to our story. Yes, you're right. Poor Elliot has suffered through majorly sprained ankles and a concussion. Well, at least the doctors say he's going to be all right. Yes, and as for the three young men who did it, nobody knows about their punishment. And now for a dramatic reenactment of the accident. You better say sorry. No, I'll never say sorry. Say it. No, never! Say it or you're going to be swimming with the fishies tonight. Say it! Ah! What horrible treatment. What some kids do these days. Today we're going to discuss the, our impressions of the adaptation of Doug Wilhelm's book, The Revealers. As I viewed the movie, I was reminded of my own experiences observing bullying in middle school. The way the characters are isolated and considered different resonates with me. The effects that bullying has are present in this film. I agree. I really think this film deserves an A-plus for its quality and realism regarding youth in situations like these. The best plot device in the film was when the targets of bullying revealed their inner feelings on the school's kidnap. It was pivotal in helping the students stick up for themselves and believe that they could change the injustice to be a big hit for children and parents alike. People of all ages need to be more aware of bullying that persists in our schools. When the bullying gets bad, sometimes the targets need to get even. Can you hold this for me? Why? Just hold it. Do the jock rots figure out this is not a simple accident? Find out this summer. The Revealers coming to a theater near you. The Revealers opens in theaters this Friday. Back to you, Bill and Joe. Thanks, Kristen and Kate. Boy, that movie looks great. I'm going to see it as soon as it's released. Me too. In other news, a team of students conducted a controversial science fair project at a local school. Our hidden cameras caught some footage and it even went on progress. 
as it was on progress excuse me. Water. What's the project about? This is our science project on bullying that takes place in our school. Let's see a video of the one that has the principal. Mr. Capelli, how much of a problem do you think bullying is at our school? I don't know what you mean by problem. Are you suggesting it's uncontrolled? I think we mean when one person intensely hurts or humiliates another person. Of course it happens. It happens at all schools. I'm just asking, how often do you think it happens? What you might call bullying can encompass a wide spectrum of quite typical pre-adolescent and adolescent behaviors. If two students get into an argument on the soccer field and one happens to be bigger than the other, is that bullying? If a group of friends decide to exclude one member for a brief time, as so often happens at the middle school age levels, unfortunately, is that bullying? Well, do you think it happens a lot at the school? As I said, this tends to occur at all schools, especially middle schools, unfortunately. As an educator, I don't wish to stereotype any of our students, but when specific incidents do occur, we are aggressive in our response to inappropriate behavior. Well, Mr. Capelli, what do you think about this project? While I commend any responsible project for the science fair, I'm much less comfortable with something that seeks to deliberately humiliate certain people. Isn't that what you call bullying, Mr. Trainer? Deliberately humiliating whom? Why these young people whose stories you are featuring, of course. But they've all given permission. We asked everyone. They wanted to tell their stories. I'm very concerned that you're deliberately portraying Parkland School in a very one-sided negative light. What if you should win this science fair and go on to the district competition? How would that reflect on Parkland School? That we are somehow the capital of cruelty? Now the one with Bethany and Catalina. Bethany. Bethany. What? Why did you make stuff up about me? What? Why did you make up stories that weren't true about me and my family and where I came from? I never said that. You're hallucinating. Actually, you did do that. You also made up the story about you cheating. What? You're crazy. Am I? You wrote this note to Russell Trainer oh, and on his locker. No, I didn't. It says, hi there, smart boy. Guess you got outsmarted, huh? That was taped to Russell's locker before the student body read our letter saying the story we'd published about your cheating wasn't true. Whoever wrote this note knew that the story was fake. At that point, no other student, except for the ones your father interviewed, whoever planted that story would have known to say we had been outsmarted. That's ridiculous. And anyway, you can't prove I wrote that note. You know I'm stronger than you. Turner? No. no. Man, this is a hit. You might need another computer. No, I mean, I didn't really know people cared about bullying. Here come the judges. Hi, these are the science fair judges. Wow, you guys must have put a whole lot of hard effort into this project. It's really organized. Congratulations, you are our seventh grade science fair winners. Wow, those kids really did work hard on that project. <laughs> It's not open. Should have had a V8. Thank you and welcome back. We then Yes, Jill and Bill, I'm live at the scene of the mob. It seems the parents are protesting about after school detention. Let's find out why. Excuse me, sir. I'm Kent from the news. Why are all these people protesting? Well, the principal gave my kid and his friends detention for two weeks for an absolute accident. What was this accident? Well, they posted an untrue letter on an instant messaging system, and everybody thought it could be true. Thank you for your time and information. Before we close tonight, let's visit with Taylor, who recently reviewed the book The Revealers by Doug Wilhelm. 
Take it away, Taylor. According to StopCyberBullying.org, bullying now entered, has now entered the virtual world. Perpetrators can send direct messages to the kids they are bullying and use other kids to also spread the word over the internet. The Revealers, a novel by Doug Wilhelm, examines the role that a school's so internet over. plays no in spreading of both goodwill and... Wilhelm's novel has shown other kids around the country that they are not the only ones who have been bullied. For example, Sam Whitney, a middle school student, said, The book helped me realize I am not the only one who gets bullied. Not only do kids like the book, but parents said it also had an impact on them. For example, a town librarian in Pittsburgh, Vermont, reports, The, week, the lasting effect on our, on our community is phenomenal. Publishers Weekly reported The Revealers is a Grand Rapids bestseller. The book has a great impact on schools around the country. Some middle school teachers have made it mandatory for all students to read the book in the curriculum. Thousands of children around the country have connected with this book on many different levels, whether it's to, not to bully or to realize that they have to pre prevent it. Well, that seems to be all the time that we have. Boy, did it just fly by. I'm Bill. And I'm Jill. Good night. Good night. because there's echo in here anyway, so it'll parent. Okay, one more time. Are you running? Camera running? Girl. Okay, action. Breaking news. Hi, I'm Bill. And I'm Jill. And, and we, we are your newscast, newscast people, people for today. today. This Justin. A boy named Elliot Geekowitz was dropped off a bridge into a small river by a group of young boys called the Jock Rots. I've heard of a situation like this happening before. This situation occurred in the book called The Revealers. I read this book and it made me feel strong. It also made me realize that I wasn't the only person who's been bullied before. I'm glad that you were willing, willing to share that story with us. You're welcome. Also, teachers thought it was a good book for kids to get hooked on reading. I know I did. Thanks again, Jill. And back to our story. Yes, you're right. Uh, let's see. Poor Elliot has suffered through majorly sprained ankles and a severe concussion. Well, at least the doctors say he's going to be all right. Yes, and as for the three young men, no, uh, excuse me, as for the three young men who did it, nobody knows about their punishment. And now for a dramatic reenactment of the scene. I'm not yeah, quite sure right. why. Oh. Me too. In other news, a team of students what conducted the a controversial. Darby, what? you're Darby. supposed to be doing I'm that. I'm supposed to do that. He just key reads the whole thing by taking his face. And as I viewed the movie, I was reminded of my experiences observing bullying in middle schools. The way the characters were isolated and considered different resonates with me. The effects that bullying has in the presentation is What some kids do these days. Me too. In other news, a team of students what conducted a controversial... What the heck? Darby, you're Darby. supposed to be doing I'm that! I'm supposed to do that! He just key reads the whole thing by taking his face and they're gonna edit it out. Oh, we don't have Darby. Okay, oh sorry, God. I see what you're doing. I didn't write that, and I didn't write either of those. You know, my father's an attorney, right? I think you've met him before. And I'm Jill. Thanks, Kristen and Craig. Joe, don't laugh. Do it again, please. <laughs> Here, I'll just keep going. I'll just keep going. I think this is just a way of victimizing some people you'd like to get back at. We're just being honest, aren't we? 
I'm upset about it and will not convince me to restore student access to school stream just in case that's what you're hoping will happen. I think you're only proving that some that students, some students, can't be trusted to. Bye-bye. Oh, Alright, okay, right. Yes, Jill and Bill, I am live at the scene of the mall. We conduct a, a survey of four classes here at Bogle on the... According to StopSpireBullying.org, bullying has now entered the virtual world. Perpetrators can send direct messages to the kids they are bullying and use other kids to also spread over the word over the internet. Okay, yeah, no. Dude, According to I messed up. Okay. According to Stop Cyberbullying. No, you have to close the book. Open Shut it. up. Open and close you your can book. Cut it and then we'll stop doing it. it. We'll stop doing it after every paragraph. Okay. Fine. Um, okay. Fine. Okay. Ready, set. It's already on, Darby. I know. That's <laughs> it. Okay. Any comments, Jill? Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for your insights. It seems this book has quite an impact on school since the first publishing. The Revealers tells about three seventh graders who are being bullied for different reasons. Those three students get together and form the Darkland Revealer and show how to fight back against. <laughs> Show how to fight back against... Okay, I gotta... Yeah. Okay, start over. Go! The Revealers tells about three seventh graders who are being bullied for different reasons. Those three students get together and form the Darkland Revealer and show how to fight back against bullies. These three students, Catalina, Russell, and Elliot, show that when you get together, you can stop the process of bullying. Wilhelm's novel has shown other kids around the country that they are not the only ones who have been bullied. For example, Sam Whitney, a middle school student, said... This book helped me to realize that I am not the only one who gets bullied. Not only do kids like the book, but parents also said it had an impact on them. For example, a town librarian in Pittsburgh, Vermont reports, the weekly, or, uh, the lasting effect on the community is phenomenal. Publishers Weekly reported the Dark Moon Revealer is a Grand Rapids bestseller. Stop. Oh my god, I'm serious. Okay, don't move. According to StopCyberBullying.org, bullying has now entered the virtual world. Perpetrators can send direct messages to kids they are bullying and use other kids to spread the world over the internet. The Revealers, a novel by Doug Wilhelm, examines the what? Oh my, oh my god. god! Dude, Katie, shut up! Why'd you stop? Because you were all... I was just going like this. Okay, yeah, sure. Look uh, at the camera was... more. Can you read that? Yes. Okay, ready? Oh. According to StopSireBullying.org, bullying has now entered the virtual world. Perpetrators can send direct messages to the kids they are bullying and use other kids to also spread the word over the internet. The Revealers, a novel by Doug Wilhelm, examines the role of a student's uh, internet... Ah. According to StopCyberBullying.org, bullying has now entered the virtual world. Perpetrators can send direct messages to the kids they are bullying and use other kids to also spread the word over the internet. The Revealers, a novel by Doug Wilhelm, examines the role that a school's internet plays in the spreading of goodwill and rumors. Wilhelm's novel has shown other kids around the country. <laughs> Slater! Aww. Ready? The newest movie, adapted from Doug Wilhelm's book, is called The Revealers, and it's coming out this June. The movie captivates the events of bullying that occur in Parkland Middle School, showing the effects of some of the students, bullies, and victims. Let's watch a pivotal scene from this latest film that truly does reveal a major problem. Wilhelm's novel has shown other kids around the country that they Shut are not up. Oh my god! 